Hey guys, welcome back to Bronx's Math Club. Today's topic is customary units of length. So, what are the customary units of length? First of all, let's understand what customary units are. The customary units of measurement is a system, system of measurement that we use in the United States. This system is derived from the Britain unit system. Okay, so, length. Length is uh, what we use to calculate distance. Distance is like getting from point A to point B okay now distance could be uh, between anything you know um, uh, point A could be represent uh, like a person and point B can also represent a person so you're trying to find out the distance between two people you know and point A could represent a car and point B could represent another car so you're trying to uh, define the distance for between these two cars okay so there's different units of length, okay? And here are the uh, four basic customary units of length that you'll be introduced to, which are, which are the inch, the foot, the yard, and the mile. Okay, now let's look at some things that, you know, you know we use in everyday life. And um, so we have the pen. The pen is a pretty small object, I mean, like looking at an average pen, it's not that gonna, it's not gonna be that big. So here's a pen. I'm not a really good drawer, but you can at least see the pen in this picture. Okay, so you're not gonna use a mile, neither a foot or a foot or, or a yard to calculate the uh, the length of a pen because those are all too big. Okay, you're gonna use an inch. An inch is the right size because um it's pretty small and the pen is um uh, judgingly pretty small too. So you you're gonna use an inch to calculate the length of a pen. Okay. Now another thing is room. Okay. You're looking at the room, you're looking at walls. So you might want to calculate the distance between two walls. Okay. So here's the wall. You write the, okay, and here's a wall. Okay, so when calculating the distance between two walls, you're not going to use miles because those are too big. You might use a yard and you might use feet. Now, feet is, uh, is plural for foot. Okay, so yards and feet. Okay, now let's look at states. In the United States, there are 50 states, and when you're traveling from one state to another, you know, you look at um, how much le uh, distance you're traveling. So you're going to calculate it in, as length, right? So um, you're not going to use inches, though they're too small. Even feet are smaller and even yards are too small. You're going to use miles. Miles are the distance traveled by a car. Okay, when you're in a car, you're not traveling inches, you're not traveling feet, you're not traveling yards, you're traveling miles. You know, like 60 miles or 40 miles, even miles per hour, that's how fast you're going. But we're focusing on length. Okay, so now let's um, do an example uh, problem. So let's say that you want to calculate the distance between two walls in your room. Okay, so here's one wall. And here's the other. Okay, so you know that your common um, units of length that you, you will use is yards and feet. But now, let's say that the distance between two of uh, between the two walls is four yards. Okay, but you don't know how many feet that is. So you want to find out how many feet four yards is equal to. Okay, so let's look at a chart. And we know that one yard, as you can see over here, one yard is equal to three feet. So how many uh, uh, feet, uh, feet in four yards? Well, if you know that one yard is equal to three feet, then you might just want to um, multiply four by three. So four times 3 is 12 and this is 12 feet so 4 yards has 12 feet okay so the distance from the two walls is 
12 feet if you want to know it in feet. Okay, now you can even calculate it in inches. Or you can calculate in miles, of course, but inches would be another choice if you want to do it. So that's how we, you know, calculate the distance. So we use length, and there's different customer units of length. Now, there's more than just four, and you might want to go and explore, you know, and learn more of them. So thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.